Hello, boys and girls. It's Mr. Jiminy. <clears throat> Pardon for my voice. I did want to go over uh, tonight's con skill, uh, mean, median, mode. The reason I want to go over it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ask you for the arithmetic mean, which is a little, it's a little bit different than talking about the mean. It's just a different terminology. Still finding the mean. So I'm going to go, again, you can always access the con skill around the blog there for the under the eating practice. I'm going to click here. I'm going to do a couple examples with you. Now, again, I know I'm logged into Khan because I see my username right up here. Oh, you can see I have one wrong already. Okay, first thing, what does the arithmetic mean of the following numbers? Well, I don't really advocate for you to write on the screen unless you have a slate, which I do, or maybe your iPad, but, or some kind of tablet where you have a device, a stylus you can write. But I'm going to do it right here so you can see my work. So, to find the arithmetic mean, first thing you do is add all these up. Well, 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, 16 plus 2 is 8, or 16 plus 2 is 18, so I have 18, and I'm going to combine these two 8s and get 16, so now I'm going to combine those sums and get 14, and I get 34. Let me just double check my addition. I do this all in my head, so I have the two 2s here, that's 4, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, 16 plus 2 is 18, and I have 18 plus 16 gives me 34. Now, that's the sum of the data values in the data set. Now, I must divide that sum by the number of values in the data set. So, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. First thing I know is that 34 divided by 8 will not divide out evenly. I can do one of two things. <clears throat> I can put in 34 eighths as my answer. I could also divide this out and say 34 divided by 8. 8 goes into 34 four times. That gives me 32. Subtract, that gives me 2. I have nothing to bring down, but I can always put a decimal here. That's with my quotient. I can put as many zeros as I want. Transfer that zero down below. 8 goes into 20, 2 times, that gives me 16, I can subtract again, I get a remainder of 4, I bring down another 0, again, give me as many zeros as you want, 8 goes into 40, 5 times, I could also put 5, or 4, excuse me, and 25 hundredths, because it terminates then, because 8 times 5 is 40, so I put 4 and 25 hundredths, this is what they give me, okay, uh, let's try another one, this says find the median, well again, median means to find that it's a measure of center, so find the number in the middle. Once the number's in order, and organized from least to greatest. Taking a look here, I have a three, I have a four, I have a four, I have a five, I have a six, seven, eight, ten. Six, seven, eight, ten. Six, seven, eight, ten. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pieces of data in my data set. Let's just double check that eight values up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, half of eight is four, so I have these four here, these four here. The median would be between these two numbers, between the five and the six. Well, this should be easy for us. Halfway between five and six, or if I have five dollars, my buddy has six dollars. The difference between what we have is fifty cents. So that's five and five tenths. Again, another median question. I'm looking for a measure of center. Remember, median is a measure of center. Let's put these in order from these to greatest. These data values: one, one, three, five, six. And 8, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six data values in my data set up here. So that means I have some six data values down here. I do. Okay, I have three here. Three here. I need to find the measure of center, that median. Halfway between 3 and 5 is 4. Another median one. I think you get the point. I hope this helps you out. Uh, and have a great day. Take care. Bye.